Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so 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 excited to finally show you uh, like I, I would say the best Team Holtz project I have ever made and I stopped hoarding it was a big decision I stopped hoarding some of the stuff I've been gathering for the past month or so or probably a year and you have seen a lot of my Team Holtz haul videos and stuff like that but I said this is it I gotta do something about it. I, I gotta put my mind to work and create something that I'm gonna enjoy, that I'm gonna have for the rest of my years in life and uh, something that I would display and show what I do. And uh, this is a Team Holtz, I call it the Team Holtz Tool Carousel. I would have loved to put the word carousel in it but it was way too long. You know, if you can see the compartments where I had the spaces to um, work with were not that big it was kind of tricky I I definitely love it and you will see why uh, the way I did this was I think you saw on one of my previous hauls that I bought this carousel at Ross for seven dollars it was all black and I showed it before I didn't do a before and after but the before would be the uh, video where I when I show you that I bought that and uh, I said I would alter it I think I, I believe I said that and it's definitely definitely this carousel was definitely an all an altered piece you know like something that you could alter and do something beautiful so let's stop talking and show you so everything you see is Tim Holtz okay there's few little things, very few, like, for example, this little scissor over here, it's not Tim Holtz. But I'll sh tell you what I used, what I did, what I didn't do. <laughs> I'll explain you everything if you want to. So, to create this, uh, the first problem I encounter, once I put the big pieces, you know, the long pieces, they once I cut them and everything, there was an edge here that was showing it was this color black this thing came black I didn't paint it or anything it was just like that so in order for me to hide that what I did is that I used some Team Holtz tissue tape okay so I just went up every edge I put that tissue tape so that cover the problem of having that edge coming out now in this in this section here you would see that I use the team holds of label labelers then you saw my video about the smash labeler also because I wanted to make it very vintage so this is the that's my that was my objective with that tool and I did create the labels then I use team holds some um, stickers here this are some stickers that he has and I put the word tools and I have the word tools here because this is a tool carousel and I used a lot of stamps and one of the stamps I used was the uh, three men's with the tall hats and then I embellished with uh, the the foliage metal flowers from Team Holtz so that's that section there then I would say this will be my favorite and I didn't want to work it out too much you can see that most of the sections are very elaborated but this one I did want to preserve the picture because I loved it I think it was fantastic and these are guys in the train and they were leaving and if you can see here there's a guy saying goodbye to the other one so I thought that was really really nice then it says here enjoy the journey because obviously they're going in a train or a trip and then this 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 paper I made a tag out of the paper there were still scraps of the paper and for some reason I saw the tags and since I didn't want to cover the rest of that piece my creativity went ballistic and I created a small little tag from the same paper as you can see I put a little metal bracket and I just put a little uh, twine there and then I also stamp says no refunds no exchange 190 
meaning that this is the ticket or the tag and there's no refund or exchange for whatever the ticket you bought at the moment so there's a there's a little so for this I created a little pocket you can see I can just insert this there no problem and that's made with the same paper this is the back of the paper part of the back of the paper and then I embellish with a small little punch that I showed you yesterday that I got which is this one it looks like a little medallion with a little star I got that punch a long time ago when my son was a baby and this is a corner punch with a little star that's what I used and then these I, I have to thank you and forgive me because I, I, I was supposed to say this at the beginning of the uh, of the video but um, most of the things like I said it's stuff that I've been you know collecting and buying from months and, ye and probably a year trying to get everything to make something really cool I knew the moment was gonna come in at any moment and I have to thank most of my viewers I have a few viewers that have sent me mails with cool stuff you know like cutouts from Tim Holtz little embellishments and there's some of these embellishments were used for this project so I want to thank you all of you JC Jazz uh, Brenda which is Rap Lab Jennifer um, and if I forget somebody else please let me know but those are mainly the people that gave me things um, throughout the year because we have exchanged mails and fun mails to each other so this is one of them I, did, I don't have this die and I just created like a tab just to you know I wanted to get the feeling that this was like the station and they're leaving and that's why you have this little tag there for your luggage and then I then I put one of his uh, vintage pen there so like if if they have to write something so I thought that was cute I this f from all of everything else I did which I love I don't know why this is my favorite I guess the picture speaks for itself so that I didn't want to really cover any of that so moving on then you have this tile here which says creative then again I use some of the uh, metal label and I put the word creative then you have a team holds butterfly and an 82 number these are numbers from team holds as well I kind of distress it uh, there is a um, I did a lot of research guys believe it or not I, I know most of the you know tricks and things about Tim Holtz but there's certain things that I didn't know what to do and I had to do a lot of research online I have my compendium of curiosity books and I went through them up and down up and down thinking what was the best thing to do you know that looks Tim Holtz so for this one specifically I found there was a post from Tim Holtz from a long time ago how to distress this type of tiles and uh, I did that then uh, you have here uh, the Tim Holtz uh, measurement this is kind of fabric which is really cool so I put that as a little pocket and I include a little mustache that's not Tim Holtz but I wish he could make some of that because that would be cool and then it's like a mustache flower if you can see that's a Tim Holtz flower with a Tim Holtz pin and the mustache is not from Tim Holtz then that the, t the mustache comes from that company that I buy a lot of little things that are really cool and vintage is called the bed landing so that's from there and this is another of the three uh, the stamp I'm gonna show you the stamp but in most of you I know that are very familiar with this stamp let me look for it really quick this is the I don't know how Team Hulk calls this stamp but this is the I call them the tall hats and this is the stamp this is how it looks usually everybody 
stamps them and they're all three they're all together but I decided to cut them out and make them independent so that was really cool and because of this one specifically this guy had a mustache I thought it would be cool to put the little mustache anyways it's a big trend nowadays so I thought it was cool then if you we move on you have a tile here that the background is a blueprint of a train so I thought that was pretty neat and I didn't want to cover the whole thing so you could see actually that there's a train but I don't know if you can catch that on camera but if you see closely you can see that there's a train here and a wagon and then there's a blueprint of the whole concept of the train which is pretty neat and uh, I said well why don't we you know keep the train concept there so I came up with putting the sticker here which has nothing to do with the train but I thought that creating like a train station because of this part of you know which is my favorite which part of the carousel this will go perfectly so I did put like a 68 number there to say that that's the 68 station I guess then I cut out from scraps um the the background of of these um it's the same paper i haven't changed paper or look for any other paper it's the same paper over and over and i use all the scraps possible and these are my scraps most of the scraps here you can see they're all here and i try to use them as much as i this is the paper how it looks on the front and the back this was one tile this is one of the papers that brings like four things and then you cut them out and you have like four things see it's, this paper is fabulous guys fabulous to work with this is the the blueprint from the train this is how it looks from the back see so I try to use most the most out of this paper and it really worked and one of the things that team host tells you is that when you have scraps like this don't throw them away just keep them around and then you can use them to embellish with your little punches and stuff like that and that's exactly what I did I didn't waste any of the paper at all so as you can see like I told you from these piece I got the background or one of the pieces like this one because I cut it right I got the background that for that label there and I stamp it with the Studio G uh, letter letter stamps so that's how it looked I like the the font it was very vintagey so I try to went very well with it so I try to do the best I could do to be straight so it looks cool so then I put gears here I try to make it a little bit of steampunk here uh, this is a piece of tissue tape that um, I don't have this tissue this is a team Holtz tissue tape that I don't have but somebody I did a I bought somebody something from from Etsy and if it was packaged so neat and they put to tip down the package with some of this tape so I kind of saved it and I mod podge it now I didn't say that either um, all of it the, especially the paper is all Mod Podge so it has that you know certainty that it's gonna be there it's not gonna fall off so that's a good thing uh, so the tissue taper was Mod Podge and voila I got my little calendar there so I tried to like I said I tried to make like a station place so it, you can see your calendar where you're leaving or whatever and then I had this fabulous um, little train uh, this was one of the punches when my son was a baby I used to make cars for him and I had these punches in a box and I found them not too long ago and I, I, I'm very glad I did because nowadays you don't find punches like this so if you can see I put all the gears up together and I put the little train there to let you know that this is a train station and another cool thing I did about this section here I don't know if you can see that but let me bring it closer because I think it's kind of far away is that I have you know those those um, kind of 
banners that they put on the walls telling you, you know, from one side to another that there's something there. So I put that, that's what I was trying to do here. And this is a piece of, um, you know, those hands from the, from the watches. And I put the T for train and I, I guess we can say that it's a T for Team Holtz as well. And these are from the Team Holtz uh, medallions or, no, these are not the medallions. These are the, um, it's called the uh, typewriter keyboard embellishments. It's really cool. So if you turn this around a little bit, if we go over here, you can see I put the number 68 from, from wherever you're walking. You can see, <laughs> you can see that you're coming to the 68 station of the train. So that was my idea. I don't know. I, I put a lot in thoughts into it, guys. I, I really did. And then this part over here, it says art. And then I embellish with uh, Team Holtz uh, clocks, metal clocks, and the spinners. All of these spins, if I want to play them wherever I want with gears, a metal flower, and the other guy. So the three guys are there. They're, they're, I fussy cut every, every stamp I had in this project. So it was not stamp on the paper. It was stamp in a craft paper. And then I fussy cut them all. So here you're going to see the jalopy. Uh, the jalopy was tricky because I didn't want to cut, you know, the space was so small and this is the smallest jalopy I have. So that's a stamp. I stamped it. I distressed marker. I used my distress markers to color the jalopy. And then since the background was a map, I thought it was really cool to um, put the jalopy there you know, telling you that we are going to have a trip. So I also use the chit chats, little tags from Team Holtz, and I put creative journey. And then I thought, you know, every car has keys. So I come up with this cute idea of putting this key change from Team Holtz and the keys. The keys are not Team Holtz, and this little knob here is not Team Holtz. This is something I found on the floor somewhere. And I thought it was really cool to just grab that there. And then as you can see, I used as well the um, Team Holtz uh, stickers. This is a, a car tag that it says My2451. And it's from New York. So you got the little keys for your car or your jalopy. And then I put a little gears and embellish with little stars and a little bit of fabric there to make it a little bit more cute. So that, and uh, these corners over here, uh, those were given to me by Jenny. I'm sure it was Jenny. Uh, and uh, these are really cool. They're called the architecture, architecture stones. And they come in color like a stone. All you gotta do is distress them and paint them. And what I did is was paint them in black and then put a little bit of gold around them making them like they were old or something so that created a very cool environment for this label right there or for that part of the carousel then of course I couldn't skip the umbrella man it was it was a it was a must I had to put the umbrella man in this project I didn't want to because maybe the Umbrella Man would either, you know, uh, take away from the Tall Hats Man's, but it all blends, guys. It all blends. So what I did was I put the Umbrella Man, I did some gears, I put some of the Martha Stewart Butterfly Punch. These are Martha Stewart. And then, then again, I used that little punch that looks for the medallions. And this time, I kind of like embellished with metal these are metal stars the ones in the middle and it goes with the medallion there and this medallion comes out from that um, the Tim Holtz um, die that you can create rosettes and I put the number 13 because if you know about Tim Holtz usually the umbrella man comes with a number 13 for some reason 
I think Team Holtz likes that n that number. I like it too, so I thought it was cool to put that number there because it's part of the Umbrella Man. And it says here, Dreams. And I put um, Embellish with beautiful metal flowers again. And I thought it was so cute. And then this one is really cool too. This is the camera. This is a Team Holtz die. Uh, this was given to me by JC Jazz. And uh, I thought putting a little bob on top of it was cool to make it more vintage. This is not Tim Holtz. You, you can see as well the uh, Martha Stewart butterflies here. This is a Tim Holtz stamp. And I put smile like if they're going to take you a picture. And then the famous film strip from Tim Holtz which is very tricky to pin down. Uh, and then number 19 in there. This is a bingo chip. This is a sticker. It's not the actual wood, it's just a sticker. So guys, I think I have explained everything. If I miss something, sorry. But I love this project. I'm very proud of it. Because after, you know, months and months of collecting everything I could from Team Holtz, I finally, finally, finally did something that I really gonna enjoy and that I really like and I hope you like it too I really do and if you do please um, please rate comment and subscribe and give me some up if you really like the project because it's gonna help the channel a lot and uh, basically like I said this will be for my team hold tools like the scissors so you can see it's, it's very practical it's not gonna fall or anything it's, it's not you know it's made out of wood it's really well made and this is exactly what I wanted this to carousel for and this is going to be in my desk and uh, it's going to give me a lot of strength and creativeness and uh, push me to make probably more and better team hall projects or any other vintage project that I can come up with so thank you guys Goodbye.